this is video number 578 how to pray for emotional healing in your life part 5 I have this one friend that will blame herself and send herself on an unnecessary guilt trip about the blue ticking people without replying when you send a whatsapp and the person has actually read the message the sender of the message will receive two blue ticks she believes that she has to answer immediately but for me I really do not have an issue, even if you take several days to reply to the message, because I believe if it's really urgent, then you will make a telephone call. This got me thinking, how many times do we not place ourselves under tremendous pressure because of the false beliefs about what other people is expecting from us? Please God, reveal to me where I'm placing myself under tremendous strain due to the unnatural beliefs of what people are expecting from me. Furthermore, sometimes I think we sacrifice blessings due to the fact of the lies that the devil has planted in our thoughts. Please also reveal to me what lies I believe we are believing that robs us of our blessings. Please also grant us second chances. You are the God of second chances. Recently I went on a short road trip with my father's land cruiser to my brother's house about 200 km away from Pretoria. We had tremendous fun on our trip, listening to music, having, having deep profound conversations, bringing emotional healing to our wounded and battered souls. After the road trip, my brother filled up my dad's cruiser as he wanted to return the car filled with fuel. I wanted to savor the moment of bliss we had on our unplanned road trip. My brother reacted saying, it is the worst time to take a photograph of the driver of a land cruiser standing next to a petrol pump. As all you can see is there is gluck, 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 the thirsty land cruiser drinking your hard air earned salary. This got me thinking, how many times have we not taken a mental picture of someone or even an aspect of ourselves standing next, next to a petrol tank, taken a mental snapshot on the very worst time? So this is why I'm asking for second chances. Please Lord, reveal to us where we have taken an incorrect mental snapshot of incidents, of people or anywhere we have, where we have made the wrong assumption. Please heal us so quickly, swiftly, that we can be productive in your kingdom, that we can be an inspiration and a, and a light to the rest of the world. One of my favorite movies of 2019 so far is Mr. Nobody. It is a sci-fi movie. Usually I'm not a fan of sci-fi, but this one is different. The person is lying on his deathbed. Several reporters have interviews with him about his life. Each reporter he tells a different life story. The conclusion, spoiler alert, at the end of the movie, irrespectively of what decisions he made in his life, all the decisions cultivated in the same amount of happiness, of bliss, and of hardship, and of loss. I believe we are only in control of about 5% of our lives. The rest is up to God. The moment when we start to surrender to this fact, our levels of, of peace will automatically increase. So this is my wish and my prayer for you. May God to take you on a Mr. Nobody journey to see that His will will be done. The Israelites did reach their destination of Canaan. It was only the wind the 5% that was in their hands. The rest was up to God. Can you tell me how old you are? Oh, I'm 34. I was born on February 9th, 1975. Who are you? I'm Mr. Nobody, a man who doesn't exist. We don't know who Mr. Nobody is. Neither does he. Our patient's memories are confused. It's only you if you made up your mind. Do you want to burn with me or do you want to stay with your father? We cannot go back. That's why it's hard to choose. 
You have to make the right choice. As long as you don't choose, everything remains possible. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. Did you stay with your father or go with your mother? Remember. Hello, Nemo. I want you. I want you too. For as much as Anna and Nemo have consented together in holy wedlock, for as much as Elise and Nemo, Jean and Nemo have joined themselves to each other, everything that you say is contradictory. Of all those lives, which one, which one is the right one? Thank you.